great race against Saratoga. It's fast and it is furious. And it's hard to imagine a day or a race that will take a back seat to the 88th running of the Whitney and the supporting stakes on the card. We've got guarantees on this card. We've got a guaranteed pick five at 400000 to start the day. But we've also got a quarter of a million dollar guaranteed pick six. And that begins in race number six of this 11 race card. Let's take a look at race number six. Now, there's two horses in here that are going to capture a lot of attention. The two Juba who was scratched on opening day and looks the speed, and the four Ocean Knight, who has not run since running poorly in the Tampa Bay Derby. I think you have to take a stand with one of these two horses. For me, I prefer Ocean Knight. I think he's the horse to beat, and I'm going to try to beat Juba in this race. Horses I'm interested in using, though, their prices are the seven Eric the Red, who I don't think was happy inside last time, the six Taka Joes in the same race, who's going to be a long shot and like Saratoga, and maybe even the six Crafty Dreamer. But to me, the four Ocean Knight is probably the one that the race may center around in race number six. The stakes portion of the card continues in race number seven with the Fasic Tipton Della Rose. And this, as it is every year, is a wildly competitive race. And I would argue that the 12 horses entered in this race are the most competitive race you'll see in this kind of division this year. You can make cases for almost everybody in here. You've got to narrow it down somewhere. And my main two horses are the 6J Wonder, who had no chance beyond a slow pace last time out in the Justa game and actually gets a little class relief. And the 5 Recepta, who ran well despite a wide trip last time at Monmouth Park. They're my main two in here, but believe me, I would use others, and you'll be using others in here. A great race. The great racing continues in race number 8. And race 8 kicks off a three-quarter of a million dollar guarantee Guaranteed late pick four that includes three stakes, including two grade ones, starting with the Lawn Jeans test in race number eight. And once again, you got ten in here, and man, you can make cases for a lot of them. For me, I want the six wonder gal. She is my main horse in here. I think the price will be fair. I love the turn back for her, and I think she gets her big win here. But she's got to deal with the two cavorting. She's my second choice. But there are other horses I didn't even include, like the one Irish Jasper, who's done nothing wrong lately and seems to win every time. I can include the three by the moon, who's very dangerous. You've got last year's two-year-old Philly champion. I haven't even mentioned her, and that's the four take charge Brandy. I don't like her in this race. I think this is a super tough spot to be coming off a layoff, but she's proven me wrong winning race after race when I seemingly thought you wanted to bet somebody else. The seven, so you say, has speed. The eight, Angela Renee, has competed against some of the best three-year-old fillies in the country. This is a super running of the Lawn Jeans test. But I'll tell you what, it gets crazy in the ninth race, and that is the grade one Whitney. This race has everything. There are seven grade one winners in the Whitney, and you can make cases for many of them. For me, I like Tonalist, the two. I think he's very dangerous. I think the nine wicked strong coming back to Saratoga. He's had excuses in all of his races. Jimmy Jerkins has very good numbers going turf to dirt. I think he's dangerous at a price. Horses like Lee are big-time players. The one honor code who may be the favorite. Is he going to be effective around two turns? He's going to get pace to run into. Liam's map, Noble Bird, they're all in here. And this Whitney is one you cannot miss. Stakes action continues after the Whitney. The Fasic Tipton Weah. The 10th race, once again, 12 horses in this race, a mile and a half, and they can all win. It's a very, very competitive race. I like the two Eastern Bell a little bit in this race. I think the horse to beat is the 12 Danza Cavallo, but she's mired in an outside post. I think the one, Goldie Espony, Chad Brown's inside, he's outside, she's okay. There are a lot of horses that can win this race, a super competitive race. It's a competitive 11th race to close it out. But there probably are two logical horses, the two Bella Katari, who's got to turn back to five and a half furlongs, but is supposed to get the pace to do it, as well as the three full tap off a maiden win for Christophe Clement. They are the main two players. Maybe a long shot like Southern Sunshine has a chance. Tough pick six, but it's guaranteed a quarter of a million. A terrific pick four guaranteed at three quarters of a million. You know where you have to be on Saturday, and that's playing the car that includes the great 88th running of the Whitney.